Hey everyone, it's Nick here from Springboard VR. Today we're going to be going over some brand new features that we have recently introduced. The first one we're going to have a look at is our new temporary closure feature. To access this, what you'll need to do is go to your monitor, select edit on the station that you wish to change, scroll down to the very bottom, select the date and the time that you wish to place in the temporary closure. As such, I'm going to do from 8 until 9.30 p.m. Click the close station toggle, go save, and you'll see this appear in your monitor. When this is active, what it will do is stop anyone from being able to book during this time. Unlike the maintenance mode though, it will not show up the Steam VR overlay inside. To get rid of this one, it's quite simple. Just click on it, go reopen, and confirm. The next exciting feature we're going to talk about is our new batch config. To be able to use the batch config, go to your monitor, tick the stations that you wish to adjust, and you'll see the edit selected option come up. Click this one. Now anything that you change in here, such as the age limit, turning on maintenance mode, language, all the tag filters will apply to all the stations that you previously selected. The tag filters are our next exciting feature. These control exactly what your customers see inside of the launcher. By going to the stations and either doing as a batch config or individually, you can go and toggle on which particular content tags you want to appear in there. This will change what's available in the filter on the side and also what they see. You can then select whether the title needs all of these tags or just requires at least one of those tags. When you click save, this is the only thing they'll be able to see inside of their launcher. In addition, we now also have our operator only tags. Operator only tags are created exactly the same as any other tag by going to your operator panel, going to content, tags, creating a new tag, and then toggling on the operator only option here. When this is done, this tag will not be visible inside of the launcher for your customers. Only you will be able to select it from inside here with the tag filter. This is a really great feature to be able to really limit what customers can see when you're having events or perhaps offering different types of pricing. Back to our monitor, you may have noticed the new launch arena button. When this is pressed, the Haze server client will be launched. This is part of our continued integration of Haze into Springboard VR. To be able to activate this option, go back to your operator panel, go admin, locations, and select your location. Down the bottom here, you'll be able to toggle this on. Please make sure that the Springboard VR Haze client is installed and set up correctly. If you have any questions about this or are looking for a demo, make sure you get in contact with us at support at springboardvr.com. Our final feature for today is the minimum booking window. To be able to find this, go to your operator panel, select your location, go to experiences, select the experience you wish to edit, and then go to pricing and hours. Down the bottom, you'll see a new option here for the minimum booking window in minutes. If you were to put in say 60 minutes from here, what this would mean is if it's two o'clock now, customers would not be able to book until 3 p.m. This is a really great tool. If you're looking to create a little bit more time between when a customer can book and when they can come in, perhaps you need to get staff in, get things prepared, any number of reasons. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoy these great new features. If there have any feedback or comments, please let us know at support at springboardvr.com and keep an eye out. There's much more to come in the future.